Hello, Franklin Flyers and families. My name is Sarah Sutel, and I'm your principal for the 21-22 school year. And I am so excited to say, welcome back, students. We look forward to seeing you on Monday and cannot wait to have a fantastic year with you. I want to give you parents a little bit of peace of mind over the weekend. I know that there's a lot of you worried about making sure that you have all the information that you need to start on Monday. So I want to give you a quick video here to make sure that you get as much information as you can. What you see here on the screen is the website we have for Franklin Elementary. And I want to just make sure a lot of you have been asking if we're going to be posting uh, the class rosters on the front of the school campus. And we are completely going electronic. So please make sure parents, if you're watching this video, to take the time to go onto our website. And here you will see at the very top a link that says Franklin 2122 class rosters. Please click on there. And what you will see is this list. And this list will show you each of our students and their classes and their room number. So please take the time to go through your students um, and just make sure that they are on the list. If they are not for any reason, again, we are getting a lot of registrations and they are in the system, but they might not be updated yet. Please make sure to visit the office on Monday morning if there are any problems. Please notate, though, that problems do not mean request issues. We've had so many requests of teachers, and it is very difficult to make sure to maximize each request when we're trying to make sure to balance classes. When we look at equity issues um, and we look at gender balancing, we cannot honor every single request. So parents, please be aware, just because we put in requests does not mean that it's going to always be honored. So please respect that and understand that we are doing the best that we can for each of our classes to be balanced and equitable. With that being said, please also know we have the best staff. We absolutely truly believe that here at Franklin. So your child will always have an amazing teacher and we know that it will always be a great experience here. And if it's not, we will work on making that happen. However, we do need to make sure that our students are not constantly being moved around. Also note that a lot of our classes are at contract is what we mean by that is we are maxed out here at Franklin. We have a lot of transfers coming in, a lot of movement due to COVID. So we have a lot of students right now. So please be understanding in that as well, that it might not be as easy as just moving their classroom if there's no room. So we wanted to make sure to point that out. Parents, I'm going to go through a quick presentation for you. I promise to make it as succinct as possible, but we want to make sure that you're all in comforted in regards to our parking and our entrance. So we're going to go over that now. So here's a quick overview. Again, we just discussed the rosters that are on the website. When regards to Chromebooks, we have the ability to be one to one this school year. We're very excited about that. With that being said, they are all brand new devices from TK all the way up to six. Please note that each of those devices are checked out individually to those students and can be tracked. With that being said, we do expect for digital citizenship strategies to be happening here on campus within our classrooms, but we would respect for it to be happening at home. Please work with your children on making sure that their devices are charged every single evening, as well as every morning put into their backpack to get back to school. The goal is to use them here, not as frequently frequently as we did back in COVID, but to really be able to have access to being able to do electronic work here at school. Also, we want to make sure every child has access to a one-to-one -one device just in case for any reason COVID does return and we do have to shut down classes. This ensures that every child has opportunity to access their learning at home. When it comes to student siblings, we will talk about that further, but please note, in order to ensure that we have a great flow, we're going to ask all of the oldest siblings in the family to make sure to go pick up the youngest. So for instance, let me give you an example. If you happen to have a fifth grader, a fourth grader, and a second grader, the fifth will go to the second grader's gate as well as the fourth. All three will meet up and exit out of the second grade gate. Same thing for entrance. If you happen to have a kindergarten sibling, it will be the exact same thing. All siblings will be at the kindergarten gate to make sure that the kindergartner gets out safely. As discussed, we're going to look at some photos of some gates, just so you're aware of what it looks like to make sure that you're pulling up to the right gate when you're dropping off and picking up. All students upon entrance to the campus will make sure to have their temperatures taken. We'll have a yard duty and teachers available at each of the gates, just making sure that all the students coming on campus are healthy. If there are any students with an increased temperature, we are going to have them go to an isolation room and after 15 minutes, take their temperature again. Parents, we do ask and we will communicate to you at that time if they do have an elevated temperature, if you could stay within the parking lot, just in case they do have to go home after the 15 minutes. 
in regards to pickup that was previously discussed in regards to the siblings. This is a quick visual for you that again, we will be starting at 720 for breakfast. First bell for class will be at 740. Please notate here the gates and I'll give you a visual now. What you're gonna see here on the left is orange terrace. And this is going to be the area that all of our parents will have access to saying goodbye and give hugs to all of our littles when they go for their first day. Unfortunately, we are not allowed to have visitors on campus unless they're essential workers. And so at this time, all parents are going to be asked to bring their children to this gate here in the corner in order to allow them to come on campus. But unfortunately, parents are not going to be able to come on campus to walk them to class. Grades one and two, same, with our parents being able to drop them off, and it's gonna be right here next to our kindergarten playground. The front gate right next to the front office will be for grades three and four, and five and six will be able to enter and exit through the bus loop. If you look here, these double doors will lead right into the cafeteria. Please know if you have any children with any type of dietary issues, medical issues in regards to keeping an inhaler or a chamber, Please see our nurse in the front office to fill out the proper paperwork, and please make sure that you bring the original medication box so we can look into dosage and have that kept here. Any more questions? Ms. Melissa is our nurse and should be happy to speak with you on Monday morning. Finally, this is a system that we put into place last school year and it worked very well when it came to traffic. So please be cognizant of the fact when you enter in, Right in the front here is for grades one and two, and they can be dropped off here at the end at their gate. For three, four, it is right here in our front entrance. However, we do ask for parents for grades three and four using that gate to, to go left here into our teacher parking lot. And then in the middle will be a noon supervisor who will walk all the students across the street safely to get onto campus. Again, if you're grades five and six, you will be using the bus loop. Once again, here's a visual if you'd like to hit pause on the schedule that we have in place for this school year. Please notate that once again, 720 is breakfast and 740 will be the first bell for class. If you have any other questions, here are some information and some phone numbers for our district. Please make sure you reach out anytime.